Hits it to right. Here's Solaire, and the Giants take the lead. And Brito did not back down. He went right into the strike zone. And to Chapman's credit, he let it travel. He had an opening on the right side of the infield and cashes it in with a money hit. And that had hit me written all over it. And Chapman makes him pay. What is going on, everybody? Just getting set up here. It's time for the post game show. Get always and up on, always back. Ads off the San Francisco Giants win it. It wasn't looking great. Chat was looking a little, a little negative, but that's okay. That's a hum baby chat. That's how we do. And the Giants fought back, took the lead, and in comes Doval to shut it down and pick up the save as first of the year, as first of many. And the Giants actually now have a winning record on the year against the Padres. Not a winning record, but a winning record against the Padres. Getting ready for Blake Snell tomorrow, but we'll break this one down. Bottom line, the Giants win it by the final score Today, if we can get the box score up, three to two was the final. And, uh, you know, a game that the offense was, was sluggish, was disappointing, had some opportunities, couldn't score runs. Finally got one home. We were going to eke one through in the sixth inning. Probably should have scored more, but got the one. And then in the bottom of the eighth inning, it all came together. The Giants with a couple of big hits. Matt Chapman with that hit you just saw, the go ahead run, and then Doval finishes it out for a very, very, very nice win. What's up, Michael Roeder? Not near as negative as NorCal. What's up with NorCal? Negative. I will say, though, very okay with a four and six start after that gauntlet to open up with. Hey, man, four and six after taking on the Padres, Dodgers, Padres. Now we get some a little more reasonable matchups here. I mean, I'm not saying the Giants can't beat these teams. Well, obviously, we can. The Giants have a winning record against the Padres. Just beat them 3-2. Had two games within one run against the Dodgers. I don't see any reason to really panic right now. Um, I mean, obviously, if the Nats come in here and sweep, okay, then we'll start freaking out. D Porter con el 20 dólares. Vamos. We'll take it. Party people. Not the prettiest game in the history of all time, but a win is a win. They showed more life in the eighth inning than they've showed all season combined. D. Porter comes through, and so does the Salvation Army Rancho Cordova Corps with the 199. Just got back. I saw the smothered win. We'll take the sm smothered win, and I'll break it down. But uh, the W is the W. Hum, baby, counting down to the end of the world. Logan 707. You know what's up. Uh, we got Zach here. We got David Auburn. We got Micah. Uh, we got JDWHS. Jason Corner Webb should take the player of the game. Seven strong. Webb came in today. Got it done. We see a 10 spot. No way. This must be a, uh, something's going on with my computer. It shows me another super chat. I don't know what's going on. 10 spot. I'm going to do 10 per W this year. <gasps> Jason Corona. I'm going to hold you to it. No, I'm just playing. You don't have to do that, but I do appreciate it. That very, that would be amazing. That means, I mean, I'm assuming 100 and uh, see, what's the franchise record? 107. So that's 108 wins. I will take 108 times 10. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Thank you so much, Jason Corona. I can't believe the support. Michael Roeder. Shadows of 2001 with the luck. Thank you so much. That's a two spot right there. I got you, bro, Jason Corona. Oh, my goodness, they're coming in hard. This is Taco Tuesday, even though it's not Tuesday. It's an eclipse, not an apocalypse. Uh, the eclipse coming tomorrow, right? Uh, uh, Jason praying we don't go 158 and 6. Uh, hey, the Super Chat, Michael Roder, DK Reviews. Thank you so much, Vince, uh, for being here. I appreciate it. Um, baby, let's keep the winning going. Uh, unbelievable. You guys are uh, deep point. I can't even keep up with it. This is incredible. I didn't expect that the generosity this year has been literally and by far the best of all time in the history of the home baby baseball channel at a great point in time, because our, 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 our videos are not, uh, you know, going crazy like normal. So it's, it's, it's the time. It couldn't have been better for this. And I thank you guys so much, but anyway, three to the final score, we got to have to break it down. We're going to tell about what happened today. And yes, Logan Webb was absolutely 
just lights out today. And it, it's crazy. If you think about that, Logan Webb was second in the Cy Young last year. Who was first? A man by the name of Blake Snell, who will be starting tomorrow for this San Francisco Giants team. Um, Webb throws seven innings. He did give up some hits, 10 hits, two runs, only three strikeouts today, but he stayed in the zone. He didn't walk anyone. No free passes today. No free passes the entire game. That's almost, I mean, that's incredible. It was only a couple walks in the entire game, but nobody walked. The Giants did not walk a single batter. No, and that just goes to show you can give up 11 hits and still win the game when you don't give away any free passes. They only gave up two total runs today. And obviously it was a great day today for um, the youngster. Merrill was four for four. Uh, for the Giants today, Soler with a couple of hits, Chapman with the big hit today. He'd been struggling a little bit, but he came through when we needed it. And uh, also, Wilmer came through with a nice hit uh, in the game. Didn't end up scoring. Fitzgerald pinch ran for him. Didn't end up scoring, but uh, it was a big hit right there. Uh, Wade with a hit, and Jung Hu Lee had hit. So six hits on the day total. Not a ton of offense. Most of it came a little bit later in the game, but it was at the right time. Um, there are some concerns with Mike Yastrzemski, who struck out twice. Second at bat was a rough one. That pitch was just painted on the corner. First one, he struck out looking. I believe he struck out looking twice. He's hitting 063. Uh, I see the chat getting a little frustrated with Mike for good reason. When we got like Matos in the minor leagues, Ramos, just somebody up here who can actually hit. And if he has, if Yaz has options, it is getting to the point where we have to think about um, sending him over to uh, to Sacktown for a little while, and work on that. But uh, Thank you so much again. Uh, super chat ears are coming in crazy here. Michael Roeder, we got uh, the Salvation Army. We got Jim Thurlkill, NorCal after win. Yes, we won, but by the end of the year, Chapman will suck. Lee will suck. We will win 78 games. Uh, oh, 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 no. Dick, dude, the team has the talent to stack up with anyone. Uh, Wilmer is the unsung hero, so NorCal is a negative channel. I mean, I, I, I can't speak on it, but um, there's really nothing to be negative after – Nine or uh, ten games, and the majority of them, actually all of them, against the Padres and Dodgers. The Padres, yeah, they lost Juan Soto. They're still a very, very strong team. I mean, look at the guys they got in their lineup: Xander Bogarts, Tatis Jr., Cronenworth, Machado, Kim, Profar hit the grand slam. Wade Merrill, he got Shoka. I mean, it's it's a very, very strong lineup. Um, the the pitching is not as strong, but the guy they, they whoever they're throwing out there has been pitching really well. Their pitching has looked really solid, or is that the Giants hitting? We're about to find out. Nationals are coming to town. Nationals are not exactly stacked in any way, shape, or form. So if the Giants, you know, don't have a good series here against the Nats, then we could talk about some concerns. But until then, uh, I mean, obviously, it's still just one series. It's still early in the season, even after that. But I mean, there's really no reason the Nats are three and six. Uh, DK, if you're still here, I mean, you know all about the Nationals. Um, Obviously, they, they. I'm not saying that it's still a big league team. I'm not saying we're going to sweep them and, and we need to sweep them, but definitely don't want to uh, have a bad series against teams like the Nationals. And the Marlins are one and nine. Let's not let the Marlins even think that they have a chance to do anything this year. Who cares about other channels? Hum Baby is the best. I don't know what to say, man. Thank you so much. I can't say that. Strasburg retired yesterday. Oh, missed that news. Obviously, he's been hurt, surgeries galore, and uh, I, and he wasn't going to play this year. Strasburg retires. Nationals World Champ says injuries were too much. Years and years of injury struggles, and I can't blame him at 35 years of age. It's like, why come back? What else is there to prove? You know, more elbow injuries, more surgeries. He's already probably going to have problems throughout the rest of his life, let's be honest. So, um this is the first I'm hearing of this, but Steven Strasburg was a, a, an amazing pitcher for so long, and uh, shout out to a great career. Today I'm announcing my retirement for the game I love. I realized after repeated attempts to return to pitching injuries no longer allowed me to perform at a major league level. And uh, got that championship in 2019. Yeah, thor uh, thoracic outlet syndrome. Just, uh, yeah, I, I totally understand this move, and, and it's uh, – Great career for uh, Steven Strasburg. But um, pitchers, man, pitchers are, are falling down like, like they're dropping like flies in these last four or five years. If you don't have Tommy John surgery, it's like you ain't a pitcher. I mean, everyone's having Tommy John or some type of surgery or shoulder surgery or elbow surgery. 
Uh, it's just like it's 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 a it's an epidemic, man. It's an epidemic. Um, back to the chat. Uh, Dodgers are losing zero to seven. Wow, Miami's getting hot as hell. We got to keep an eye out. Uh, not record wise, I haven't been watching them, but the record's not looking too good. Interesting article on Jordan Hicks and how the Cardinals could very well regret giving up on Hicks. Oh yes, I'm, I'm glad we haven't been swept yet. That's about to change. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But it could. We could sweep them. That it's going to be. It's going to. Any series is tough. You never take any team for granted. I don't care if it's the A's, Nats, Pirates. Pirates obviously don't take it for granted. They're playing well. And they got a guy named Joey Bart, by the way. And I, I'm sure you guys heard my thoughts already. I think I touched on it. But Joey Bart, home run in his first at bat with the Pirates. Then he hit a double off the wall. Just looked absolutely awesome, just like he did all spring training. And I could not disagree more with the Giants' decision to trade him for next to nothing. It makes no sense to me. I'll never understand that move. You have made he made the team, and it just makes no sense. And I'm, it's not even that you traded him. It's like, wouldn't you let him play a little bit, up his trade value, then trade him and get something if you're going to trade him, or? If he doesn't play well and he sucks, then you can trade him for nothing. But at least you at least you tried to up his trade value. At least you let him play. Just makes no sense. Makes no sense. Uh Pittsburgh Pirates, I don't know. If if we're gonna say it's not early and whatever's happened is 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 indicative of what the season means, then I guess the Pirates are winning it all. Timing really bad for DFA Bart. Didn't have the DFA in my opinion. Didn't have the DFA. Serious Michael Roder. What did Michael Roder have to say? Can't find it. Just a matter of time. I hope we can find ways around that contract to help us contend. Eric, I'm betting 1,000 Chapman makes all-star team. Book it. And, and, and I'm pretty sure his Chapman, I, I can't say. I've been surprised at some guys who have never made an all-star team. I'm like, surely he's made it. Chapman's been an all-star, right? But then again, I, don't, I can't say. Let me look. Uh, yes, he has. Back in 2019, he was an all-star. Hit 249 with 36 home runs that year. Uh, off to a, a, a somewhat slow start this year, but you know who's not off to a slow start is Michael Conforto. He's been just uh, hitting, uh, just doing great. Today wasn't a great day for him. He did walk, but it's great that the other guy's got his back. Chapman came through with the big hit today. Estrada went over four with three strikeouts. What's going on with Tyro and Yaz so far? Damn, damn I hope it's early because, geez, neither one of them. Yeah, Estrada had a big hit yesterday. Shout out to Estrada. That was huge. But he's hitting 154. We need to see more production there. Bailey's off to a good start. Ahmed's starting to struggle. Uh, it's it's still, you know, we're, these batting averages and stuff are starting to find their place here in the next couple of weeks, and we'll start to kind of see uh, it's too early to call anyone out for uh, being a, a failure this year or a success this year. But so far, it's been the Michael Conforto show. Obviously, Wilmer's the man. Wade Jr. is looking really good. Soler is, is solid. A couple of big hits today. A couple of home runs against Los Angeles. I, I feel like tomorrow is going to be a huge day, and the Giants' offense is going to break out big time, and that Snell is going to come out and pitch really well in his Giants' debut. But um, what a game today. Also, shout-out to Ryan Walker for the scoreless inning. Without that scoreless eighth, he was set up, man, today. That's how you're a setup, man. He came in, and he set it up for Doval, and Doval struck out the side. Doval struck out the side. So I can't ask for anything else other than what we got uh, from this team today. I mean, obviously, a little more offense would have been nice. But um, at the end of the day, we got the W, um, and we'll take it. Pissed, large turkey. Eric, if I have time, I would like to get on the channel for one of the pregames for the Nat series. Uh, it's it's done. It's, it's a done deal. It's happening. It's happening. Um, I hope, uh, man, we'll try to make that happen. We will definitely try to make that happen. A lot of pass ball causing them to lose what's a warlock. Honestly, Bart just needed to change the scenery. I think it's the pirates take pressure off. I hate the pitch clock makes the pitchers rush at times, which counts for way more errors and injuries due to wild pitches. Yeah. They're rushing the pitchers, rushing the hitters. Chapman got a strike today when he stepped in the box. I was like, he looked like he was totally natural. He didn't look like he was, looked like he was going on the pace and what was called for at that moment. Kind of took his took his breath, took his bat. He stepped in, strike. He looked at the umpire like, "What?" And he's like, "All right." Like you can't even argue, you get thrown out. I thought there was going to be a lot more arguments and pitch and players getting thrown out. It hasn't really happened like that. I think because they know you can't say anything, you get thrown out. So they must have made it clear. Every coach and manager has told their team like, "Hey, don't argue it. Don't argue it. You're going to get 
you're going to get tossed. What was the point of trading him when he's hot if you are not at least get something good for him? Yeah, get something decent. Get something decent. I mean, and don't get me wrong. We got us something. We got a pitcher, but there's no evidence that he's going to be in the big league. I mean, we all know how it works in the lower minor leagues. If you're not a high draft pick, the odds are against you. I mean, the odds are against this guy, Strickland. The odds are, are stacked against him. He's never even pitched in a minor league game. He's never pitched in a minor league game. Very good chance he goes out and pitches in rookie ball or low A or something, gets lit up, gets released. There's a strong chance in a year from now that player will not be in this organization. Not to hate on the kid. That's just the, the nature of it. That's just the nature of it. Uh, Pirates are performing exceptionally well. Micah, Tom Dolan, two out of three series. Other than the first inning yesterday, the pitching is very solid. Estrada will hit his way out of it. Yaz needs to go home. Okay, dumb germ throw skills, dumb with Yaz. Gays move so fast, it's hard to watch them. They fly. They fly. We got a bag of chips, Malone Lay. Let's be honest. I'm saying. I had not heard of him other than when they went. The only time I heard of that Strickland kid was when he got drafted because I followed the whole draft. So I followed the whole draft and I streamed the entire draft. So I said his name when they drafted him and and, and I think the Pirates drafted him. I was like, okay, Pirates draft a kid by the name of blah, blah, blah. Uh, he doesn't look too great, but uh, we'll see how that works out. That's it. That's the extent of, of what I knew about him. Um, but since then, I've checked out a little more. He does have good stuff. Uh, he has uh, uh, some good velocity, but who doesn't? Who what pitcher doesn't that gets drafted? A bag of chips is the pitcher that we. I, I think he's referring to the pitcher that we got for Bart. We basically traded Bart for a bag of chips. I think is what he's saying effectively. But yeah, a lot of people love love the clock. They love the clock. They love Manfred. There's always got to be people who love these things. Uh, I think um, if they just pushed it, they pushed it even faster this year. They laid less, like two seconds less. Like, why did you push it? Last year was fine. You got to just keep pushing it every year, pushing it shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And it's like, why? The games are going fast now. There's no need to, to take any more time off. It's already, the games are flying by. The Red Sox are winning today 12 to 1 against the Ain Cal. California Angels, the 1986, the California Angels against the Boston Red Sox. Um, that takes me back to 1986. Um, well, let's recap what happened today. I haven't done the the actual uh, recap of this game, but um, things unfortunately the got started uh, not off on the best foot here in the first inning when Tatis Jr. got a base hit. Tatis made a nice catch today too, kind of had to leap into the net. Um, what an athlete! What a, what a what a ball player! Tatis Jr. is a beast. Um, there's no doubt about that. Jake Cronenworth, a great young hitter, doubled in um, Tatis, and the Padres took a one nothing lead. That was really scary at that moment. I'm like, oh, does Webb not have it? They got spring training Webb, or do we have second place Cy Young Webb? Well, luckily Webb settled down right away, and then a bunch of goose eggs all the way through until the top of the sixth inning, and then a couple of hits. Manny Machado with a base hit. Hassan Kim lined a shot in the left field. Two nothing at that point. Uh, but then the Giants in the bottom of the six got our rally going. Jung Huli reached when uh, Hassan Kim threw the ball uh, pretty much out of the stadium. Uh, I'm not sure what what was going on there, but Kim decided to throw the ball um, <laughs> way over the first baseman's head. So we'll take that. Uh, Way Jr. with the base hit. Soler lined out, and then there was the walk to Michael Conforto on, I believe it was on four pitches um, from Kolick. And then Matt Chapman grounded out, but the run came home two to one, the run they had to get right then and there. Um, nothing then until the bottom of the eighth when Michael Conforto, actually Michael Conforto, Michael Conforto did come to bat, didn't quite come through. Um, the Giants were able to get the tying run home. Uh, Wilmer Flores had a, a, a big base hit right there. And uh, it was Matt Chapman with the go-ahead base hit, uh, bringing in Soler, 3-2. The Giants took the lead, and then striking out the side for um, Doval, and that is it. So the Giants win it, 3-2, your player of the game today. Brought to you by the next person to comment. And it's Michael Roeder, actually. $5 Super Chat. Eric, what I said is MLB is talking about getting rid of the pitch count. The pitch clock. Pitch count. I was like, what? How are we going to get rid of the pitch count? The pitch clock. Um, 
They are. They're talking about oh because of the injuries. Like what are they, you guys? You guys want? They wanted the pitch clock so bad. Uh, they're saying it's the greatest success of all time and acting like it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. That's crazy if they're talking about getting rid of it. But um, then we'd be. I don't know. It's okay with me, but um, thank you so much for that $5 super chat right there. Michael Roeder, you are the man. Player of the game today is Logan Webb, keeping it close, getting it done. Secondary player of the game, Matt Chapman. Offensive player of the game, Matt Chapman for that hit. Nice win now, Blake Snell time. And the number three player of the game, reliever of the game, my man, Camilo Doval. I didn't get a chance to go to Oracle to get that bobblehead. But that bobblehead is awesome. It looks just like him. I've seen it. Um, I want to buy one. They're like 50 bucks on eBay. I can't quite pull the trigger on that, but maybe someday I'll be able to get that cool Camilo Doval bobblehead uh, and throw it in my collection. You can see I got quite a bit of bobbleheads back behind. I have enough bobbleheads already, but uh can never have too many. You know, I'd like to get some glad, get some like nice display cases and 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 put everything out. It, it's, it's it's nice back there, but I got even more than that. I got I got a lot of bobbleheads, a lot of bobbleheads. Um, but yeah, the pitcher injuries, it's actually wild. There's a statistic I want to say, like as recently as the 90s, like a five-year stretch, there was far less injuries than just one year now. So like five years in the 90s, there was like not even close. Like you have to go like the entire decade of the nineties represents one year now of how many games pitchers miss due to injury. They started in line three hours before the game for the bobblehead. Yeah. I heard Patrick Bailey's going to get one too. I got to check out all the bobblehead games, but um, I, I think that uh, $50 is actually not too bad for that bobblehead. It's really cool, but I, I'm, I can't pay $50 for a bobblehead right now. <laughs> Todd Enlow, congratulations on the win today to the Giants. Rockets are definitely looking tough to start, but the umpire today was terrible. Wonder when challenging balls and strikes will come into play. They're doing it in AAA right now. Uh, so they need to, uh, you know, I, I, I've always wanted that. Balls and strikes is what ruins it. Umpires are terrible. They seem to be doing a little better this year, I think, because they know that's coming down the line. For whatever reason, umpires. I feel like I'm doing a little bit better. There was a time, you know, but who knows? They could still blow games. I mean, they are just terrible at balls and strikes because they want to be. If they want to be good, they can be good. I mean, you're not going to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. They have a ball right there. It's, it's you know, right on the corner. But it got a little sliver of the plate. It's hard to say. You know, you can understand. You know, they're not going to get every call. But when you're calling balls a foot off the plate, a strike, or, or even you know, six to, to to twelve inches off the plate. A strike, balls down at, at the shin, a strike, balls up at the eyeballs, a strike. It's like, what are we doing? What are we doing? You knew that was a ball, bro. That's when I get pissed off. I'm the GOAT, Tommy Hugsley. We still needed to do better than that. What's up, Richmond, California, 2200. Michael Roeder, you're saying pitch clock reduced injuries. Uh, I think they think that pitch clock makes more injuries because they have to hurry. They have to hurry. They have to hurry. They don't have time. I don't know. I, I can't speak on it. I'm not a pitcher. Will that extra couple of seconds help? You would think, right? You would think. Think about the you know, lift the weights, doing the bench press. If you take your time, right? Take a, a, a couple of seconds between set. That that helps you do more. That helps you. It's healthier than like <laughs> you go like that. You're gonna you're gonna hurt yourself. You're not you're not taking your time. You're you're rushing. Stands to reason you are more likely to get hurt. But then again, what do I know? Doval's kid will be pitching in the majors in 20 years. You see this little guy throw. Keeping it real. Keeping it real. Look for Yaz's kid in about 18 years. Look for Yaz's kid. Um, Induced. Oh, I can't read. Indu maybe maybe it was a typo or was it, was it me who can't read? Oh, induced. <laughs> it was me. It was me. I apologize. Yeah, you you said it exactly right, and I apologize. I I blew it right there. I completely blew it. Uh, I'll put out a more formal apology. I uh, just playing uh, uh, a little bit later. Uh, just joking. Uh, but yeah, my bad. I misread that. But what were we talking about a minute ago? Oh yeah, somebody said to uh, check on the dog. 
Rogers. I saw that comment. And uh, we can do that. We can definitely do that. Uh, let's go through some of the other scores in Major League Baseball here on this Sunday, April 7th, 2024. Ronel Blanco with the no hitter. Um, congratulations to him. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, of course, I know people don't like the Astros, but always happy for a young guy who nobody really heard of or or knows about. Goes out and throws a freaking no hitter, amazing stuff. So um, Boston is whooping the uh, the Angels twelve to one in Anaheim. Um, and here's the Dodgers. Here's the Dodgers game right here. That's crazy. 7 nothing Chicago in Wrigley. They have scored in every inning but the fifth. They're up right now. Who pitched for the Dodgers that got lit up? What, tell me it wasn't. Oh, it was Gavin Stone. Dang, yeah, they're young guys. Gavin Stone and Bobby Miller are both had some rough outings this year. Now, it says just one earned run. So uh, the Dodgers, I guess you can't blame it on Stone. I, I don't know what happened, but I can see the Dodgers have made three errors. Three freaking errors. What is going on? Three errors. I guess we found the Dodgers' weakness. Um, so Gavin Stone apparently is not pitching so bad. He, he has walked three batters. But the Dodgers have made three errors. Gus Varland came in and, and got lit. And now Yarbrough is in, Yarbrough is in there. So, um, wow. What's going on here? And the Cubs... Um, Iman, oh, Imanaga pitched four scoreless. Shoto, Shota Imanaga, four scoreless. Almonte and Leiter Jr. Wow. The Cubs are having their way with the Los Angeles Dodgers. Wow. Amazing stuff. Let's go, Cubs. Make it happen. Acting like Bart didn't have an opening day home run last year. LOL. He's not good. What? I don't. I, 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 yeah, we'll see how he does. I mean, yeah, he may very well uh, uh, not not work out in the long run with the Pirates, but it, it is just crazy that we get rid of him and he goes into home runners first at bat. Get Joey, uh, uh, yeah, I think Joey Bart's going to be a Giants killer this year. Game over. I mean, Bart, uh, apology on home baby letterhead. Uh, yeah, Joey is gone, and and he's gone, and he's gone. They decided he was gone when they signed um, Murphy. They decided he was gone when they signed Murphy. What, what what confuses me is he made the team out of spring training. So I thought they were going to give him a few at-bats. And at least if he would have – let's just imagine, I swear to you, if he played in just one game and did what he did, if he had a home run and had a double off the wall and went two for four and then we got on the phone, I can almost promise you we would have got something better. We would have got a little something more. They would have said, Dan, the dude, he just hit 400 in spring training and then he just crushed a home run in his first at-bat and hit a double – uh, maybe we can give you a little something more than just one pitcher who hasn't even pitched in a minor league game yet. That's just me. What's up, Kayla? Who got called a Dodger fan? Someone call me a Dodger fan? Nobody called me. Nobody called me. A, who called who a Dodger fan? Well, yeah, no, Joey Bart's gone, but that doesn't mean it's like, that doesn't mean we can't criticize the move. We don't like the move, you know? It's like if they, if they release Blake Snell before tomorrow's game, he's not here anymore. We're still going to be pissed and say, what the hell? They wouldn't do that, though. Uh, hell no, Eric. What's up, Tommy Hugley? Bart is like James Wiseman, Trey Lance. Trey Lance, the, the top pick for the San Francisco 49ers, didn't exactly work out as planned. Um, being, yeah, but let's just wait and see what happens. I mean, Bart, I, I, best of luck to Bart. If he goes and has a great year and has a career and he's still in the big leagues in three or four years playing on all-star teams, if that happens, we'll look dumb, but I'll, I'll be happy. I'll be, I, honestly, I'll be happy for Bart because that's, you know, I don't wish any, any, anything, anyone's career to fall apart. Uh, but Dodgers, I do wish to fall apart, which they are doing today. Three errors. What exactly happened? Can we get a summary here? What is going on? Who's making errors? Who's making errors? 
find out. Can we find out? Freddie Freeman made an error. Freddie Freeman. Michael Bush, the former Dodger, is, is taking care of his former team for never giving him a full opportunity with a double. Very nice. Michael Bush is a beast. I wanted him. Um, let's see what else happened. Any more errors I can find here? I might have missed one. Here's an error by shortstop Mookie Betts. Well, Mookie Betts is learning a new position. So I guess you could forgive that. But that is a, a weakness right there. The Dodgers defense is, is one thing. I mean, Giants defense on the uh, – I'm sorry. You know, Giants defense is much stronger. Uh, Miguel Rojas is solid, obviously. But uh, you're going to compare Rojas and, and Betts to um, Nick Ahmed and Matt Chapman. No comparison defensively. Sure, I'm not saying overall. I ain't saying overall. But defensively, we have a much stronger uh, a left side of the infield. And on the other side of the infield, they got Freddie Freeman and Gavin Lux. Gavin Lux is not – he's all hes all right over there. We got Tyro and, you know, Wade Jr. or whoever's playing first. So pretty close over there. But left side of the infield, we got on lock. No comparison. We wish Farhan's career to go into the crapper. No, I wish his career would rebound and, and, and Giants would win a World Series or two and everyone think Farhan's a genius. I want the Giants to win games, so I'm not going to wish ill will on Farhan as long as he's here. I mean, I wouldn't wish ill will on him even if he wasn't here, but especially if he's here, I don't want things to go downhill just so he gets fired. I want the Giants to win some games, get the playoffs, get to the World Series, and let's freaking go. Richmond? So eight nothing to score right here, and the Dodgers are making errors like it's going out of style. Um, check on their River Cats. How long we've we been live here? Thirty minutes. Oh, we're thirty three. We got to play some music, and um, River Cats lost today in Reno, Greater Nevada Field. Got a video on a stadium review on it. Six four the final score. In Reno, uh, just to update you there, let's see how how the how the, how we're doing down on the farm. What about guys like Matos? What about these dudes right now? Matos, okay, he went over five. He's hitting two hundred eight. He hasn't he hasn't he hasn't torn it up. But Luciano's hitting three seventy five. Luciano's hitting three seventy. Nick Ahmed, you better get it going. Uh, VR hitting two hundred six. Ramos is, is doing okay with a 278. No home runs today. Luciano doubled. Um, geez, man, what is up with Casey Schmidt? Casey Schmidt is hitting 121. Casey Schmidt is hitting 121. After a rough spring, whatever happened to Casey Schmidt? I got one thing to say to Casey Schmidt. chosen one casey schmidt is struggling over there uh hey hum tell us how long you think yaz has until he's dfa'd oh my goodness he better get it going he better get it going uh I, I'll, I'll give him a month maybe i'll give him a month maybe what's up our defense on paper should be top five they better win with snell on the mound tomorrow um wisely hitting 380 is wisely hitting 385 i didn't go through it all wisely 385, one for three today with a walk. Wisely, Jackson Reitz is hitting well, 308. Neil uh, Diaz still hadn't gotten going, but he's a good hitter. Donovan Walton, 273. So that's just the, the lineup today. And 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 I, 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 I think there are some decent numbers there. But Luciano, Luciano, I don't know about his, you know, how many bats he's had. I, that, this just, that's just his batting average. But uh, it looks like Luciano is, is on fire. 12 for 32, better than I thought. 12 for 32, 981 OPS. He's got more stolen bases than the entire San Francisco Giants team this year. Let it be known the Giants have not stolen a single base. Marco Luciano looks hot and ready to contribute. San Francisco, you know, he was born in San Francisco de, de, de Macorís in the Dominican Republic. Even though he wasn't born in the United States, he found a way to be born in San Francisco. How do you not 
make this guy the future of the franchise. Uh, Dumbly, way to go. If you want cheap ticks, go tomorrow. Five bucks for the bleachers. Two dollars from Michael Roder. Yeah, I'd love to see Fitzgerald get some more playing time. Fitzgerald's got some, some potential. Get Luciano in the bigs. But Luciano is looking good right now with the Rivers. Can we get the River Cats like, roster, please? I, I want to see the roster. Because these are guys that should have that, that could have made the team very close to, and they're down there. We have some depth in the minor leagues, a lot more than normally. Casey, Casey Schmidt is supposed to be a dude. Marco Luciano is a dude. David VR, if he can get hot, you know, we could use him at some point. Brett Wisely is looking really good. Donovan Walton's been up in the big league. So, I mean, you know, some, some decent depth. Then we have Matos, future star. Wade Meckler, just a great solid hitter. We'll look at his stats. Elliot Ramos was the chosen one. Hasn't worked out, but Elliot Ramos, we still got him. We got rid of Bart, but not Ramos. I don't get that. But we got rid of Bart, but not Ramos. We still got Ramos. I like I'm glad we got Ramos. I'm just saying. Uh, we picked Ramos before Bart, didn't we? So Casey Schmidt is four for 33. Four for 33 with no home runs. Are you hurt, bro? Are you freaking hurt, dude? You were the chosen one, man. It was said you would bring balance to the team, not destroy it. Holy moly. Luciano, on the other hand, 12 for 32, as we mentioned. Uh, um, Matos this year, 5 for 24 with two home runs. So it's not great, but it's not bad, especially with those two bombs. Uh, six RBIs, two steals. This guy's electric. Let's give him some more at-bats, and, and I think he's going to bump that batting average and bump these numbers up a little bit. Uh, but Luis Matos looked like a freaking winner in spring training. Um, then there's Wade Meckler. And I, I really like Wade because he, he's such a, a good hitter. He doesn't strike out much. And uh, I got high hopes for Wade Meckler. I thought he would play a, an important role this year. We'll see. The page is not loading. Casey Schmidt has had a lot of Adam Ball so far. Uh, everyone on the Giants team need to wake up with the bats. Definitely. Eric, how much you want to bet that Joey Bart ends up being player of the year for the Pirates? It's very possible. Check it out. Anyway. We'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see. Giants could look really foolish. Really foolish. But we'll wait and see. Um, Wade, Wade Meckler uh, is... Has not played yet. I guess he's hurt. He's on the seventh. He's on the injured list. Wade Meckler's hurt. Okay, but he looks like straight out of 1985. Okay, so um, I do appreciate that. Some old school 80s um, players are really cool. Really cool. Um, NorCal wanted Schmidt to start at third and not Chapman. Wow. I mean, hey, I like Schmidt too, but. Chapman is a proven major leaguer with stellar defense who has hit over 30 home runs. So I'm not exactly sure what you're thinking with that rationale. Um, and if, if Casey Schmidt would have continued to hit well last year, instead of falling apart, he would have actually been here uh, right now. We probably would have never signed Chapman. Uh, Elliot Ramos, 10 for 36. I, I like that. Three home runs, five RBIs. So Elliot Ramos is off to a very, very strong start. So um, first round pick of 2017. He was supposed to be an everyday player by now. A lot of chosen ones that haven't worked out. Thank God for, for Patrick Bailey. But um, a lot of exciting players on the Sacramento River Cats. The question is next year, would you rather go to a River Cats game or a random A's game in Sacramento? I ain't going to bullshit. Unless the Yankees or something is in town. And I like the A's and I would love, I love baseball, period. I'll go to a college game. I'll go to a high school game. I'll go to a freaking little league game. But I'd rather go see the River Cats. I'd rather go to the River Cats than the A's right now. But uh, well, I'm a Giants fan. So, I mean, it stands to reason I'd rather see Giants. But I, I, I will go see the A's at some point this year and uh, say goodbye to the, uh, the old Coliseum which is like going to be literally looking like a Coliseum in the next, like the Coliseum in the next two years. 
um, like the, 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 the one in Rome. We'll see which one's in better condition in about 10 years um, if they don't tear it down. Schmidt's definitely running out of time, and um, we need a lot of Willie Mays to make it to the big game. Willie Mays, Willie Mays. Um, what a, what a uh, great game, great come-from-behind win. I don't know if I have a pick. Oh, here's one. You'll never get seats next year when the Yanks are in town, though those will be hot tickets just because the stadium's so small. I, there's not enough tickets to go around. And uh, I looked when I heard about the A's and I went to their website. I don't know about now. And I looked and I was going to like thinking about buying some tickets to the last game. And there's still a whole bunch of seats available. I was like, really? I thought it was going to be sold out for sure. I thought the last game at, 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 at is going to be sold out, and it's not even sold out. That's kind of sad. Like, it's not even a hot ticket. But I think I might uh, buy a couple, and if I don't end up going, I could sell them. But I, I'm going to – I might buy a couple to the last game at uh, at um, the Coliseum. So, you know, that, you know, but I didn't have to be the last one. I, I can go to any game and – May check out the Giants when they're there. Here we go, ladies and gents, with the W. When the Giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Every time the chips are down, bye-bye, baby. History's in the making. out of tune thank you guys i do appreciate it i would like to go see the a's at the coliseum before you can't well you might want to hurry up I'm running out of time and we're running out of time a's fans are going to stockton to support the ports they got a great stadium in stockton that's a beautiful ballpark stockton there uh yeah can we get jd too late it's too late it's too late thank you guys again um i want to shout out all the the super chats once more d porter the Salvation Army Rancho Cordova Court. Jason Corona says a 10 spot per every W this year. Um, I'm going to be rooting for the Giants uh, that much harder now. Uh, <laughs> but uh, no, thank you so much for that. You don't have to stick to that, but I appreciate you saying that. And uh, that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, Michael Roeder, thank you so much for the multiple Super Chats. Three of them in total. That's nine. That's insane. You guys are awesome. I, I can't believe it. That we have not had a a post game yet without at least one super chat, that is crazy, absolutely crazy. And all the gifted memberships. Stockton is the most dangerous city in California. Look it up. Damn. What about Compton? Holy Moses, that's crazy. Stockton is crazy. Stockton is crazy. I used to spend a lot of time there, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. I played a little bit with the Delta uh, College. I went there on campus and played with those guys. Um, that was fun. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's crazy, man. I didn't know. I, I mean, it was dangerous. I didn't know it was the most dangerous. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, Compton number three or four. Oh, snaps. That's insane. That's crazy. 
That's crazy. A's won't draw squat in Vegas. There is too much to do. Just a bunch of car theft. Yeah, car theft and more. Car theft galore up in there. Yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. But, you know, just got to stay safe out there. Stay safe, ladies and gents. Um, what time is the game tomorrow? It is at... I don't know. Today is the seventh. Um, it's eight nothing still now. After seven innings, the Cubs are destroying the Dodgers right here. So the Giants will gain a game on LA shortly, barring a insane comeback. Eight nothing right here. Um, the the A's played the Tigers and won today. By the way, a, a seven to one. Congratulations, the A's. I, I, I shouldn't be so happy for them, and they are a big league team. But when the A's win, I feel like. Like, 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 I don't know, like, like this terror, like the bad news bears won a game. I'm like so happy for them. And it's, but the, you know, they did, they did get a nice win today. Seven to one. The Oakland A's got it done. Good pitching today. Good job for the Oakland A's. Uh, tomorrow, the game is at 945 Eastern. So 645 at Oracle Park. Get your tickets now because it'll be Blake Snell's debut as a San Francisco Giant. And uh, he'll be battling Webb for the Cy Young, just like last year, except this time they're both going to be wearing a Giants uniform. Early prediction right here for this one. I'll take the Giants to win this game. Uh, I'll go, let's go 26 to 0 for the Giants tomorrow. Just playing. Let's 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 not go too okay. That's a little too optimistic. I'll say the Giants win tomorrow, seven to three, and uh, let's make it happen here. Great comeback today. Very close one. Snell and Williams go tomorrow. Uh, I'll take Giants seven to three. Mark it down, and uh, let's make it happen, guys. We'll talk to you then. If I can do a pregame, we will. If not, uh, see you after. If there is a pregame, we might be able to get David Knight on the program. David Knight on the program. 4-1, the very first Giants game I ever went to, the Giants won 4-1, 1988. I was a fan before that, but that was the first game I actually went to in person. Before that, I was watching them on TV. I was watching them on TV since the crazy crab era, 1984. I really got into them in 87. And uh, 88 went to my first game. And, uh, haven't turned back since. Haven't turned back since. I've been doing the Humbaby Baseball Channel since I'm nine years old. I got video of me at nine years old, and I'm like, welcome to Candlestick Park. I'm like, with the, with the, with the VHS uh, uh, camcorder. Nobody was watching back then. Nobody was watching. But I had the Humbaby Baseball Channel since I'm nine years old. Uh, everyone, have a great day. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. And we'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a safe surgery. Christopher's going under the knife. Hope I can watch after my surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. And uh, I'm sure you'll have a safe one. Hope the doctors, uh, uh, I'm sure they're the best, you know, and they're going to they're gonna take good care of you. So uh, we'll see you after, after the surgery.